Yeah, just go. I don't want. No, no, I'm not doing it. No, so I played Fallout 4, four, four yesterday. Race could bring us. I played Fallout 4 yesterday. I didn't really. But that's a clickbait. Race played Fallout 4. Click it. Fucking click it. That didn't happen. No. Sorry. Alright, games, games, games. Lucas, you went away to Games Conference. So this whole episode, pretty much, because I'm sure as hell positive that uh, Doug hasn't played jack shit of games. I have, you fucking dickhead. <laughs> and, I'm out of fucking Alright, right, okay, right. let's change it. I'm sure as shit Doug's played mobile games. I'll play, fuck you, play something else. <laughs> I'm interested. Uh, I'm sure it's it. Doug's played Solitaire on Windows 10. Fucking eat a dick. No, he played the trial Solitaire hey, on Windows 10 exactly. and then opted to pay six ninety nine for the year subscription. Yeah, Did you know man. that's what it is now? I read about it somewhere, but I just, anytime you let me read something about a new Windows, you just kind of give up on it and... We, did you even effectively bring us in with a trusty Kraper? This is episode 118. I'm Doug, you're Reese, he's Lucas. Bang. You were, yeah, thank you. You were the one that was meant to bring us in, so you took yeah, the sweet ass comment. No, he well, just, just kept did. us level, so... Thanks for giving us level, Doug. Way to build it up. That is the podcast. Games, I played some. <laughs> what you games did you play, Doug? Not telling now, you both been <laughs> oh, so Lucas, fucking rude. Let's right. go back. I <laughs> played Minecraft in those 10 editions. Oh, fuck, hell. <laughs> so, you, no, so you just played fucking Minecraft. Like, what's... Windows look, 10 edition? Look... Face. That's like me saying, whoa. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I played, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> whoa. Is that hey, I'm on, on the podcast. I have to now double tick the No, we're going to keep that one on there. <laughs> we're going to keep that one on there. You psychopath. <laughs> you just, we've never had that word on this podcast <laughs> before. I just amped it up a little. And Doug, Jesus. Doug's the one that doesn't swear that much. Yeah. <laughs> no, when Doug gets razzed up, normally he swears No, no, usually you razz him up before the podcast. Yeah, but I didn't. I, 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 Okay, Doug, obviously, I've hit something. Obviously, I've hit yeah. home somehow. I apologise. No, the... Tell me about I'm not even Minecraft about Windows 10. It. Not, not talking about it at all. <laughs> I'm just going to sit here and listen to whatever interesting fucking thing you have to say. <laughs> I know, that's why I <laughs> interview Lucas. Look right. when the games conference stuff. Sure, nothing happened there. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Tell us about your conference. Okay, okay. Because um, yeah. Doug Shaw doesn't want to talk about Windows 10 anymore. Or Windows, Minecraft Windows 10. <laughs> Minecraft 10. Minecraft 10. They skipped a couple Why of Why do you throw my hospitality in my face, Reese? <laughs> Don't <Just> do it. <laughs> right his then I'll glass him. I'd be pretty close to taking it, smash, stab. It'd be on camera. It'd be fine. And a terrible There'd day. There'd be evidence. No. No. I yeah, did. did. Yeah, 100% he's did. He's taking it on me. What yeah. do I do? I'm just here for love. And compassion. Tell us about your games okay, conference. Games conference. Right. Uh, so I'll run everyone through. Games conference is a conference that I got to go to where oh. uh, <laughs> yes, no, no, I got to go to. Oh, sorry. Where there's a whole day of running through with the suppliers and stuff and they give us trailers and show us exclusive content and this and that of games coming out. And then there's the second day which is basically a little mini E3 where I get like 15 minutes with each game with a group of us and get to go through um, a whole bunch of them. So I got to start this year at number one. Now there's you get like designated different numbers and stuff. So I started right at Sony, which I was really excited. Why about. is that number one? Ah, uh, that was just where they made the numbers. So, so it so had like it had like a little map, and Sony was one, two, three, four, and then five, six was yeah. EA, and then seven, eight was Namco, right. and you know it just went around like that. So. I so started. the fact that it was number one meant nothing. It was just nothing. Really <laughs> no, that was just, it was just I always, always yeah. wanted to start at number one. So well, you did. Yeah. Congrats. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so I got to start at Sony, and Sony's booth had um, a bunch of games. One of them was Shadow of the Beast, which is a little indie game um, where you're like this creature monster, and it's like a remake of an old game. How is it an indie game in a Sony Sony booth? booth. They just, I don't know, I guess it's made by a small independent studio on Sony and publishing it or something. Does that make it independent? Would that still make it independent? But it, it also might have been that it's an exclusive Sony... PSN game right. so that's why Sony you know so yeah. hey just have a look at it. so I got to play that and that was like I barely got much time with every game and stuff but I did get to try them all out so this game is one which seems really interesting because um, you're like this monster guy and you run up and you just get to beat other monster colors up and it's like a side scroller game and so it's it looked, Rampage yeah like Ramp yeah yeah basically like that but, other monsters. but it looks like it will have some puzzle elements later on mm-hmm. in the game so or that was, that was Beast cool. 
Altered Beast was pro- was pretty close to it. Really? Yeah, yeah. Oh, sweet. Yeah. I loved Altered Beast. Do you play Altered Beast? I do not know what that is. A Sega <laughs> game. Yeah, you, you know how to Sega. Hmm. Um, then after that uh, was Tearaway Unfolded and got to try that out. And that was a really um, pretty game. So papercraft and everything like this. And the touchpad... Um, had a unique sort of function where you swiped it up and that's where the wind would blow in and blow different things. So the puzzles were like, there's like this paper um, um, like cut out, cut out uh, which is like sitting up in the wind and you like blow the wind so it like lays down and you stand on top of it then it lifts you back up. So that's the idea of sort of the puzzles in that game that I got to play. After that was Uncharted, Nathan Drake Collection. Not too much to really say there. Um, that was just the Uncharted games with a bit higher resolution. Then. No, but haven't they redone a fair bit in them? P- potentially, but for what I got to play was... Now think about how... Sh- did you play Uncharted 1, but a remade version of Uncharted 1? It was the level um, running through the streets with a car chasing you. That's Uncharted 2. That's Uncharted 2, okay, then, yeah. yeah. I died in that bit a fair bit. Did you? Yeah. I don't think I died in that once. I don't know. I think because the, you're running at the camera. Yeah. yeah. And then it was weird. Like, Very I reckon it kept changing the controller scheme yeah. dynamically, and then I'd just run and, like, get caught behind a, a like, a... A like barrel. A ste- yeah, or, like, a a, barrel. where <laughs> the wall would step out yeah. and yeah. step in a level, and I reckon I and got like, over. You're thinking, oh, I could hide here in the car or keep going. It's like, yeah. <laughs> and just all... Yeah, I think, like, how long that, that sequence... Sequence, I'd say that was scene <laughs> sequence went longer than I anticipated to, so it's like, yeah, okay, yeah. I'll be done, and then I wasn't. Yeah. Anyway. I um, I just, I'm just, ho- I'm just hoping that number, like the first one just doesn't look like a pile of dicks. Yeah, it does, it's not if, just higher resolution of ter- yeah, they've ter- they've redone textures and all that stuff and everything. Yeah. I wonder if all the uh, gameplay elements will be identical, like yeah. if all, like if just all the shooting mechanics and everything would oh, from, the, yeah well, one two if they three. it would yeah, be nice yeah. if they fixed the first one shooting mechanics to match what the third one is yeah i'm curious to know i haven't actually researched that but are they putting the golden abyss in it the um know. psp one no it's, no it's just one two three but that's um, it yeah the vita one is, is separate right. yeah. on similar thing of remakes the this is not as relevant to you and i Reese, yeah. but the um the borderlands something jack pack did you say that that coming out for xbox one How, like the the new rendition yeah that handsome jack collection. yeah, that, yeah that's yep. what i'm looking for um but now borderlands one works as a backwards compatible game on xbox, xbox one xbox one yeah yeah but then they released us a retail edition the handsome jack collection the handsome jack collection only has two and um, the the Borderlands the the pre oh really yeah, okay. it doesn't have that's why I was real confused as to why yeah. that had happened yeah okay Xbox well, actually doing because I lot thought that of, like shoots um, that in the foot that's what I yeah. was saying yeah no nah, so it's only two on the pre sequel so and obviously it's to go still up to the publisher yeah. to decide if they backwards compatible mm. a game so if you release a retail edition of it you wouldn't do it. Yeah, so it's it's like the idea of at the minute the top oh, of the list. Oh, are you talking about like a, a retail version? A, re- a remake. Like one. Dishonored. Dishonored might yeah. never go backwards compatible because you can get the Dishonored no definitive point edition. edition. Yeah. Tomb Raider might not go backwards compatible and stuff, you know. Um, uh, but Xbox are doing actually a really good thing like later this year, especially with their backwards compatible. A lot of the games coming out are getting, you'll get the game, but you also get the 360 versions of like older versions of the game. So if you get Rainbow Six Siege on Xbox One, you also get Rainbow Six uh, Vegas 1 and 2 for free to download. Right now, if you have, uh, if you get Gears of War, the Ultimate Collection, you get Gears of War 1, 2, 3 and Judgment to download as backwards compatible. Oh, yeah. um, Fallout 4, you get Fallout 3 backwards compatible. So, um, and they're all just you get them on your account, download, you get to play them. So, so you need a terabyte. But you'll need a big Xbox. Is oh, that actually, what you're Xbox three hundred and sixty games. When you think about it, the disc is only eight gig, so yeah. you don't really need. Huge really like uh, did you end up replacing the hard drive in a PS that PS four? I have. Yeah. Yeah. Easy. Pretty simple. Yeah. Pretty simple. Yeah. It's like take a little bit of fiddling around at first and stuff, but the good thing of what you can do is the hard drive you can take out and if you've still kept the, like, if you buy a portable hard drive and you bust it open and replace it, mm-hmm. you can keep the case, put the hard drive from the PlayStation back in that, yep. put it all together and then you've got a portable 500 gig hard drive as well. So what sort of hard drive do you have? Did you use? That you can buy. Yeah. The, the one which I researched on the net was a Seagate yep. um, uh, 
portable backup one or something like this yeah. that you can buy. Um, so the backup plus or something. Backup, yeah, something yeah. like that. So, um, yeah, got a two terabyte one, swapped it over. It was pretty... Two terabyte. Two so terabyte. you can put a two terabyte in yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, it looks like I'm just going to buy one of them. Yeah. Put it in upgrade. there. Yeah, I'm yeah. going to do that soon because I need... The great thing for me is like with having both consoles, I need an extra hard drive for the Xbox One mm. So and I need a bigger hard drive for the PlayStation. Yeah. So if I get the two terabyte one, I'll have a two terabyte on PlayStation. Then I get to use the portable hard drive that I've created out of the 500 gig one from the PlayStation to be extra yeah. room on the Xbox. Though. Xbox or Microsoft are doing a lot of things correct with... Xbox, yeah. like having a portable hard drive that can, as long as you have a USB 3 portable hard drive that mm-hmm. can act as storage for games. Yeah. Yep. Like that's awesome. Yep. And I think it's almost switchable by from consoles. So if you have more than one console, to, console oh, in really? the house, you Do you reckon that would mean that their games would not, would load a bit slower running through USB 3? Even though USB 3 is pretty quick, but running, instead of running directly the, through SATA, right? Mm. Instead of that through a like, USB 3. SATA would still be quicker, correct? Yeah, yeah but, but I it don't still think spins it... as fast as like yeah. the platter speed. Like I think a hard drive spin speed is still slower than what the connection. Like I think right. it's fast enough to like the bandwidth is still enough. Yeah, yeah. so even reading off the internal hard drive or a USB, mm. one, it's it'd be still the maximum of what mm. you can get. So. I've done a little bit of research on watching videos of comparisons between standard drives and solid state drives. They're not that much quicker. For like, console, you Yeah, mean? for console. Like, for, yeah, for computer, shit's on it. But for console, it's a couple of seconds. Especially Five seconds. PS4 with, like, installing games is, like, 15, 20 seconds. Yeah. Stuff, which is nothing, so... It's very quick. Mm. All right, so, anyway, back to... What back to the game conference. Uncharted, played that, and I was like, yeah, Uncharted. Then, and it's what I got super excited about, I got to go into a room, I got to put a headset on, and I got to play Project Morpheus. Yeah, you, you haven't even told me anything. You got to play like with this. Project Morpheus. No, I got to use Project Morpheus. Did you have headphones? Did have headphones, yep. Some Sony headphones they put on me. Um, now, you got to go a few big glasses. And Luke, I, I called Luke up the night before, and I was talking to a random guy that he was there with. And I said to him, hey, man. And he's like, oh, hey, hey, what's going on? I said to him, can you just do something for me? Like, promise something to me? And he didn't fulfill this promise. I said to him, when Luke's playing with Project punch Morpheus, can you punch him in the dick? <laughs> he's like, I can do that. See, and I'm like, don't say anything to Lucas about it, just do it. He was uh, not with me in that I'm He was chatted. not in my group. So. Imagine yeah. if a different group runs from like left of stage, ah, like, <laughs> a, like a 500 meter run through the convention center and just fucking dick punches you. And then runs off and the Sony guys will be like, what the fuck? <laughs> what what fuck happens? Happens? It's what happens when you play Project Morpheus. Reset it. Okay, so... This is the very first VR I've ever used. Um, That's virtual reality for listeners. Huh? <laughs> hey, well, you've played House of the Dead, right? What do you mean? You know, you go in the booth with the curtains. That's the guns. Off. That's <laughs> virtual reality right there. Get out of town. Um, okay, so... Get out of town, you little <laughs> scam. <laughs> Don't fucking do that to me. Don't do it to me. Um, Quick, come okay. on. Whoa, 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 Doug. Do you know Doug, what? We don't want to get Doug angry again. No, no, no. Two seat Do you know what funny that I just did real weirdly? Like, just, like, hit my arm like... <laughs> <laughs> come on, come on. I, gotta, I gotta go jack up. Yeah, yeah. later. Doug, I'm chasing the you. dragon, mate. Chasing the dragon. We, come on, I want to hear this. Come okay. on. All right, so first experience Quick. putting on... The, shut up. <laughs> All right. Today. First Jesus. experience putting on um, Morpheus. It was light, okay, yep. so it didn't feel very heavy and it didn't... That's normally what light is. Okay. Oh, lights are not heavy. Yeah. Okay, that was very confusing. <laughs> put it on over my glasses first, and then I was like, oh, I might try it without my glasses. Took my glasses off to put it on, and I couldn't focus. My eyes were just a little bit off. Are you short sighted or long sighted? Um, uh, short sighted. So I should have been able to focus. No, I I'd heard, I'd heard a thing about this. Like the way it tricks your eyes, like it changes the focal length. So even really, though it's, so yes, even though you're that's it's the way because I heard some guys talking about it for the Vive. Um, wow. Yeah, another podcast. So. Because they're like, oh, did you take them off? And they reckon for the Vive, fits beautifully with glasses. Mm. Yeah, this but, one um, didn't mess with my glasses at all. Like oh, I said, good. But they said, oh, but are you short or long? And he's like, yeah, short or whatever. But they're like, oh, you should have been sweet. And he's like, no, because as far as your brain is concerned, it's not <sighs> you're not focusing there. Oh, that's interesting. That's and why that's I, was, I was like, why aren't I focusing on this? So I put my glasses That's why the off. 3D is so different in it as well. Yeah. Yep. The one thing that I'd want to know was when you were playing things... Mm. 
you know, like in, in the world right now, all right, when you look at something, I look at the camera, I look at the screen, but everything else I can still see, all right, but it's still sort of blurry because I'm not focusing on that. Did you get that with it or was everything clear? You just meant where I, the focal point is. Yeah, yeah. I, I assume everything is clear that I'm looking at, like the yeah. whole screen, but because my eyes would be focused on something in the distance, I didn't actually think about testing to see whether... A thing in front of me. So it wasn't affecting blurry. you in any way. No. So then it's no. probably. It, it didn't feel like when you watch like a 3D movie and yeah. because something is focused, like with the focal yeah, length of that. In a movie, they're choosing the focus. They choose the focal length, yeah. Whereas in a 3D and you're like looking all over and stuff because you're like, ah, oh, I sh- shouldn't be looking at that for some reason, you know, even though it's 3D and it's messing with your brain. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. But this, because everything was clear, you could pick and choose wherever you wanted to look. Did you feel like you were squinting because there was no. a screen in your face? Like, is it bright or is it... No, not at all. Yeah. Not at all. So... In a dark room, what was the setup of the room? Setup was bright. It yeah. wouldn't really matter. Brightly lit. Yeah. Maybe that's yeah. why I just the, the setup is TV and there was a camera, the PlayStation camera sitting on top because that tracks where all the lights of the headset is and the light on the back. Um, so the controller in your hand? How did the... Two move controllers in oh. my hand. How's the build of it, like, feel nice? Yeah. yeah. If you got yeah. angry in a game, could you twist it to break it because you died or something? Really yeah, you could. Head. Yeah. Touching your head up. You're so yeah. cranky. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you just hit your head against the wall. All right, so. Yeah, fuck <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> always All right, so at first, putting it on. And then through punches right. in the dick. <laughs> <laughs> My first thought was, wow, the screen size is not massive. Okay? Yeah. But after uh, 10 seconds instantly, that screen size was gone. I didn't even notice I was looking at a screen anymore because my brain was focused on, hey, I'm moving my head and it's exactly one-to-one precision of where I'm looking in here. So I lost myself in that. So I had two move controllers and they put Sony headphones on me. Sorry, so I had um, some headphones that I was listening to the game. Two move controllers and I was in a van and next to me was this NPC that was driving the van, Jason Statham, basically. All right, so he's driving the van. Just the ball. Okay. The ball guy. Oh, I've little <laughs> screenshots of this. Yeah, so the game was called The Heist, and I don't know if it's a tech demo or an actual game coming out, but had two move controllers, okay, and the triggers on the back was your hands squeezing like this, yeah. okay? In the game, like, you don't see the arm of your hand, it's just the hand cut off there, so they're like floating hands right. through the 3D space that you've got. But being able to just move my hands and seeing them exactly where they were... I could look at the whole dashboard of the car, glove compartment in front of me, grab, click, pull the glove compartment down, and like you do like the full movements of mm. how you think it's going to react. The the visor up the top, grab that down, pull it down. You can even go and Was it very quick? Super, like it was instantaneous. So tuning the radio, go over there and just dial, and then you can tune the radio and stuff, this and that. Are they just like, hey, you can tune the radio if you want. Hey, check up above no, 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 on the they, visor. Just driving along, so yeah, no, I didn't say anything about yeah. that. It was just like a little introductory to say, hey, just have a look around, and if you want to touch things, touch things. If not, that's yeah. cool. But then I was like, okay, and because first experience, I'm like, all right, I'm going to test out the 3D experience of my head movement and stuff so looking around the car I look down on the ground and there's like a drink bottle so I like lean down pick it up lift up and I'm pretending to drink and stuff because people were watching and I'm just like <laughs> throw my drink bottle away there's a bag of like ammo beside me I'm like oh shit's gonna go down something's gonna happen here and stuff like this so I'm like doing that and then because I'm in the van there's a door right beside me I'm like surely not lean over grab the handle open the door i'm like oh this is cool in the car noise is just like normal car noise poke my head out the door noise the sound changes it's now wind blowing by and i literally lean out the car door look behind me and i can see down the side of the van and stuff oh, that's super cool. and i see these like motorbikes coming up the highway with like these dudes with guns i'm like shit something's gonna happen the guy turns and he starts yelling. He's like, "These guys are coming! Here's a there's a gun!" Throws a, an Uzi on the um the dashboard. So I lean over and pick it up with my right hand and stuff. Going out and like he like um we hit one of the guys. He smashes into the windscreen and then he basically bashes the front window down and and like we don't have a front window. So I've got my Uzi and stuff. Front window. Yeah, the whole front windscreen and stuff. So yeah, that's gone. It's just a game. So it's just a game. Yeah. Anyway, so got my it's Uzi in my right game. hand like. and like. These guys are, like, driving up beside me, shooting at the car. Other cars are driving up and, like, shooting and stuff as well. And I'm holding the gun out. There's no receptacle. There's no little dot or little plus or anything like that to say this is where you're aiming at because 
you don't need it. Mm. Like it's literally precision of like you're looking where your hand is. So I can hold my hand out like this and just shoot over there. I can move my head to be right behind the gun. Mm. I can like aim it like this and shoot a guy to the left Gangster. of me and stuff. Do you shoot right? Yeah, you can do Kill all shot. that stuff. So yeah, going out and I'm just literally. Could you have done this? Yes, but you don't die. So, no. Did I you try? Tried, yeah, I tried, oh. I, no, I tried to shoot the guy. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Anyway, like, you shoot to the guy and he, like, leans back. He's like, so what are you doing? Man? <laughs> anyway, so I'm like, dudes are driving up and I'm, like, aiming and shooting and getting their wheels and they're, like, flipping off and stuff like this. I open the door. Flipping off or flipping off? Flipping off the bike and stuff. Oh, right. I open the door and, like, lean out and there's, like, bikes coming up. So, like, I've got my hand out the door holding it open and, like, I'm leaning out and shooting down the side of the the um the van and stuff so bullets mm. flying out there but then doug you run out of ammo click 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 so i'm like oh shit what do i do look around doug's pointing at the screen i think it's just a bit slow it's all right this one, so we'll see how it goes okay so run out of ammo look around grab some ammo that i've got and because i got the two move controllers ammo's in one hand guns in the other i have to oh. literally put it together click the ammo in and then go back and i can keep shooting and stuff do you want what game would probably work um straight away because i had sort of read a little bit of stuff about that demo you're just talking about mm -hmm. is um the receiver game by the same guys that made o overgrowth oh the the gun one where yeah, you, and you, you actually clock and do it yeah yeah do everything just a little puzzle game feel yeah. like that would just directly work mm. into receiver I have a sense that with the move controllers, you can aim and this and that, and that's a really cool experience, but mm. most of the games will be playing with controllers, so we'll still have that receptacle, the little dot, yeah. to shoot at. So because you can just move your head and just Yeah, it'll immersive. basically be your head and you'll... It'll just be an immersion device. Yeah. So but don't the move controllers have joysticks on them and all the buttons too? The what? Do the move yeah, controllers... Yeah, they do, so yeah. I, guess, I guess you could use that if, mm. if the game allows it, but when you think about using like an uzi is a great gun for a single hand but a two-handed gun like an ak-47 like holding. at least sony have finally found a reason for someone to buy move controllers <laughs> pretty much <laughs> the guys there actually said i was like so they're bringing the move controllers back it's like yeah we have like a truckload of them and stuff now to figure out how to sell them yeah. <laughs> it's definitely yeah did anyway, you play so any other project morpheus things there was another one there which was a horror game but i didn't get to play because oh, yeah. no no i wanted to go play. I, I went back every break but other people were using it but so cool. I cannot fully explain the experience that you get putting it on of losing yourself in. Yeah, the in moment, it. the music. Another thing yeah. I probably didn't ask you when you talked <laughs> Never to me about it. Go, yo. Did you feel exhausted after playing it? No, I only had it, like it was five minutes that I yeah. got to play, so it was a very short amount of time. Did it feel more heavy, more hard work than five minutes of playing, say, The Witcher? I felt like I spoke a lot because throughout the entire thing, I was just going, wow, what the fuck? Holy, oh my, look, whoa, so how am I doing this? Oh. YouTube. <laughs> okay, so um, a funny thing actually did happen. As I was shooting guys to the right of me, there was like, that's where the um, the guy that's driving is and like people are like driving up there. So I'm like, got, had my gun, swing my arm right out because I wanted to like get it past the guy to shoot the guy, hit someone in the nuts. <laughs> Like literally, someone oh, in was, real life. In real life, someone was standing beside me, and I swung it out. He's like, "Oh, I'm like, oh, sorry, dude." <laughs> uh, oh, so fella. yes, somebody did get hit in the nuts, right? Yep, but not it you. wasn't me. So, so. No, it was just it was shattered. But I was mm. about that. All right, moving forward after that, Star Wars Battlefront. Yep, was the next game I got to play. So did play. you play? Did you play it through first person or did third you? person? First person, both. and you can click back to the third person if you want. Multiplayer, so. multiplayer. I did play multiplayer. See, I like oh, that's split. a throwback joke. <laughs> I've, I've watched some people playing, obviously Battlefront itself, mm -hmm. but they are just constantly playing in third person. You yeah. have a crosshair in third person as well. Yeah. First person, you don't. No, you do. You do? I believe so. I did. I thought they were getting rid of crosshairs and shit. Why would they get rid of crosshairs? Wasn't that the big dilemma about it all? Was we're getting rid of crosshairs. No, ma you maybe know? I didn't know. Make, that. The, whole, make the whole laser. Things, make the whole. Make the whole lasers just more realistic in the Star Wars oh, world. Just miss yeah, everyone. Don't want everywhere. Oh, when, I was, when I was watching the video, like I was like, storm I was like yeah, yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah, a lot of people are getting shot well. Yeah. Like, a lot. Because, but I was thinking, again, that's another thing. That's in taking away that, from the Star Wars, you know, bringing heroes into the game and letting them kill people and mm. disappearing. In saying that, though. But shooting people. I did feel like. As a stormtrooper. Takes away the immersion because stormtroopers do not shoot people. I did feel like stormtroopers actually missed quite a lot when I was yeah. playing. Yeah, like lasers go everywhere. Yeah, and it was yeah. 
Um, and you have like so you can have a jetpack boost that regenerates and yep. everything as well. And that was great. So who do you play as? Uh, we played on we played the co op mission on Jakku, which is the new planet in the new movie. The um, snow one? No, no, it's a desert one. Okay. So, um, and it was uh, it was basically like oh, a, a co op mission. Co op. Yes. Yeah, so, so is there a single player story in it? There's a single player story. There's a two player co op missions, and then there's multiplayer. This game has everything. I'll probably have to. Buy and then there's hero, I really like Star Wars. then there's the heroes stuff, which mm. when's this coming like out again? November ten or eleven or something like that. Mm. So not too far away. Wonder if they're trying to implement something that was going to be in um, thirteen thirteen. Possibly there is also the dog fighting mode where you're in the um, all the planes and stuff yeah. like that. So that's cool. So anyway, so um, this one was a basically like six waves of enemies come at you and um throughout those waves there's like a couple of um little missions that you have to do one of them is just like decode a bomb or something like this or or stop them from destroying something okay so as you're going along you're walking along you know the rocky terrain and stormtroopers coming along and you're shooting them and stuff and the sounds and the animation is spot on to the movies Mm. like absolutely perfect pew, pew, especially pew. like the atsts and stuff as they're like coming around and then like doing their mm. big firing lasers and stuff firing my laser <laughs> so yeah Bo! um that in itself is going to be a fantastic game mm. like they have done exactly what needed to be done to a star wars game and it's going to sell so well especially with the new movie yeah. coming out later this year there's not much more else i can sort of say with it other than like it looked perfect so it does look smooth, like I've watched that, mm. um, the snow one, and it does look like a very smooth game. Mm. So that's a bonus. So then I got to play Need for Speed. Eh, yeah, it was Need for Need Speed. Speed. Was not much Did it there. look like the demo that was shown a couple of mu- like a month ago? It. They need to just go back to Need for Speed Underground. That's, that's what, the they're, that's what doing. they're doing. Oh, that's what they're doing. Yeah, yeah. I feel like that's the last However, one. However, yeah, so exactly. Sorry. And they need to have. The boobs girl, whoever that the they've yeah. got boobs girl. So they've got uh, like five good use of, use of mocap. Yeah, like, they've gone they've gone away from mocap. They've actually got five live people action people in the game, and yeah. like you go and talk to them, and they they're like real people, and mm. they have like yeah. video. So it's a full motion video and stuff. But Need for Speed, but to me, driving along and doing drift felt like I was like a kid with a micro machine or a little like a Hot Wheels and driving. And you know when you're like are going around yeah. a corner and you just turn it like yeah. yeah that was how it felt like when you're drifting it's like you're driving around then you just push a button and the car's like yeah. going around a corner so i was like does the camera not... like go way to the side when you're drifting um i can't remember because when i was watching the video it seemed like the camera's just going way off is it really low as well the camera yeah yeah is that i think you can adjust it back but i yeah. sort of um just stayed you just you like eh. Yeah, drove for a bit and then got over it, didn't you? Yeah, so Need for Speed was yeah. Um, then there was FIFA. I don't have really much to say on that. That's FIFA. Um, got to play Just Cause Three. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Um, that was. That excites me. Did you feel like yeah. Just Cause One and Two? It yeah, Just Cause One and Two, but with it's basically I'm the Saints nice. Row Four of Just Cause One and Two. It's like, yeah. hey, here's most of the things unlocked, and you've got a wingsuit, and the wingsuit's super cool, mm-hmm. like grapple something fly off press a button and go in a wingsuit and then you can just start flying and then like grapple and go super fast so you know when like justice 2 when you're flying around everywhere and you feel like you go into your parachute and you're like ah oh, i'm slowing down again and then you have to grapple and go a little bit further and then slowing down this is like go see i haven't my been... gripes of just cause 2 i feel like they are exactly what you're saying that they have not addressed that at all and they probably went further in the direction of like, let's just add what... more crazy shit yeah but well, they've gone, you've got unlimited C4 as yep. well. That's what get, I mean. Get, like, go, that yeah. all seems crazy to mm-hmm. me. Like, yeah, to create cool moments, I guess they're going out and they're going unique moments, but then it all just... Yeah. Is there yeah. any story about you? I guess you, you're taking down another leader. It's it's basically it, just it's it's go down and, and revolutionise people and unlock yep. you know, the suits. However, they show me the map, and I don't know if you guys have seen it, and he's like here, and then he zoomed out, and there's like this island, and then he zoomed out, and there was like a pair of islands, and he was on the little one of the big one. Then he was like, yeah, I'll zoom out a little bit more, and then it was a part of like 30 islands, and it was fucking massive. Yeah. Like, this game is going to have... Like, if you are a big fan of Just Cause... And you know Ben, ben Can is ben gonna Gann, yep. shoot a brick. Yep. Like he he'd spent three hundred or something hours in Just Cause Two, and he can't finish it. So. Yeah, can he? Funny. No, no, there's a, a one achievement that he can't get because it's a glitch on the Xbox 360 or something. That's embarrassing. Mm. 
Poor guy. That's all he's got left. He's at like 99.8% or something. Oh, so. That would just... He gets his value out of games, doesn't he? He does. Mm. He does. He actually helped me build my computer the other night. That's nice. He came over and helped me out. He would have loved that. He did. Yeah. He did. I was just like so confused about what I had to do. We moved stuff. It was good, it was good bonding. Mm. Good bonding time. Um, after that, got to play Dark Souls 3. Oh, yeah. And it felt like Bloodborne, but with a shield. So... Not much different there. Real easy, would you say? Like one of the most simple <laughs> games I've ever picked up the controller. Oh, as in good. simple as in like I'll pick up the controller, die and put it back down. That's how simple <laughs> the game was. So yeah. um, like I said, this is so play, you, actually, die, but you knew you knew that's what the game's all about. So you were like, Yeah, cool, I did it. Yeah, done. It's done. done. done yeah. Um you played any more Bloodborne? No, nah, not since like Metal Gear has come out, yeah. not since yeah. some other games. So um, after that was like I'm going to go through the whole yeah. area. So after that was Mario Maker. Got to play that. That was Mario, and I was really excited about it before I got to play it mm. because I was like, "Sweet Mario, this is going to be awesome." Just random levels people have made. Until I played some random levels, and I'm like, "Fuck you! This is so hard." And Mario is like old school control Mario trying to like beat these fucked up levels that people have done mm. like a 30 dies on this one level which is literally like start at the top of this hill and you got to jump down and fall between two blocks like there's death blocks everywhere and you got to fall in one gap onto a flag yeah yeah it's just precision see a lot of the the most popular levels that apparently people are playing are the ones where you don't move you just you don't move you just watch you watch yeah. that's just shit like, to me, I find that to be ridiculously boring. What's the point? In, there was something that I read about... Them. Um, I can't remember what it's called. It's called a MAD. In, in Japan, mm-hmm. they're called MADs. And what it is is people uh, hacked into old-school Mario games and put blocks which automatically moved Mario and made them bounce and hit things, which created all the sounds and mm. linked it all up so it created songs that people know. So there are, like, MADs that people have made in japan yeah. that like as you just watch it and it's like duh, 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 duh. and that's what i think and that's what some people actually think is like the the prelude to mario maker is like hey we're gonna get all these levels that people want to make but there's also this huge community that people made as what you're saying mm. the most popular ones of people just watching mario through like the creation of what people can do with music and stuff now on the mario yeah. levels. so that's going to be something that's interesting and nintendo are like hey we're letting you do they that they did music they did mario paint yeah that had it Make music, wasn't it? My paint had music, had some thing. sort of yeah. music thing, yeah. Um, Horrible. also got to play Yo Kai Watch, which is Pokemon, but Yo Kai Watch, yeah. So, what is that? It's uh, yeah, you messaged me like that meant something. I was like, eh. I was nah. just messaging you of what I was playing, so. thanks. Um, anyway, yeah. So, Yo Kai Watch is it's literally Pokemon, but the Yo Kai, I think, of what they are, are like souls or ghosts or mm. something, and you go about and you've got to find them and then you fight them and then you can get them and stuff. So, got What's to, it on? Got to catch them all on 3DS. Yeah. So it's a Nintendo one. After that, moved on to Battleborn, um, Battleborn. which is the. Oh, it's the new one by Blizzard, isn't it? No, uh, that Borderlands one. So, the Borderlands guys have made another game, which is like another five person co op team based shooter oh really was, new IP yeah so it was pretty fun actually so same yeah. visual style yeah same visual style um, but there's 25 characters or something you can pick out of and stuff so it's called crazy. Battleborn Battleborn yeah um, so that was super fun um, like an uh, open world RPG as well no like, more like um, I'm not actually 100% sure on the total thing of the game but it's more like just the team based with small missions and this and that but yeah Anyway, so that was that was sort of fun. We'll, we'll talk about it a bit more later once we figure out a bit more about it because I'm still trying to figure out what it is all about. Um, so that was cool, and then moved on from there to the Ubisoft booth and got to play... There was Assassin's Creed Syndicate, which was just felt like another Assassin's Creed game. Um, then I got to play Rainbow Six Siege. Oh, yeah. This is a game that if we all can set out some time... Huh. <laughs> To play together. Can we do that, Doug? I don't know. Can we race? Do you have a problem with that? <laughs> that uh, would be one of the most fun things to do. Because... Was it Rainbow Six Siege? So, did you guys ever... Like, in Call of Duty, did you guys ever play Search and Destroy a lot? You know, one life... 
got a mission. There's a group of people that yeah. have to defend the bomb and the group mm. of people have to take it down. Yep. It's that, but a lot more complicated. So you start off with like basically a minute and a half. If you're, you're, if you're the terrorists and you're, you've got a bomb and you want to defend the bomb, then you can go and block windows up. You can lay traps down. You can put spikes on the floor and stuff and this and that. Mm. If you're the, the SWAT team to go in and, and take him out, you start off with these little like robots that drive really fast and you can record and you got to communicate between one another and say hey i'm going downstairs hey i'm going upstairs hey they're actually in level two they're laying this trap this trap and then cuts out and you go back and then you have different type of people so you have people that are like full-on assault some people that have like big shields and stuff they should like slowly walking through so everyone can walk behind you and stuff other people have a big sledgehammer to like knock walls down and stuff because you can like it, say they're on level two you can go up to like level three find out where they are smash a hole in the ground and shoot through that yeah. way or drop down and stuff so That's super cool, cool stuff really that you can cool. do in this game but needs a lot of communication mm. the team on the roof where ah uh, dump day yeah our team won every four times really oh, yeah, you're the best. Team, so we were super cool because we were all talking and saying we hey i'm over here, cool. over here. We were super cool. <laughs> <laughs> i said every cool person ever <laughs> yeah shut up they don't. No, they don't. They don't. No, no, they don't. They don't need to say they're cool because they're cool. No, no, but they don't know they're super cool. I mean, they say it. Super cool. Anyway, so that's a really cool uh, team-based shooter game, which we should all get and play. Sounds fun. After that, I'm going to go through freaking everything. Mm-hmm. Um, after that, we nice. on to... Microsoft, no, uh, Activision, which... How much more do you have left? I've only got about three games three, right. three or four 30 games. minutes I thought <laughs> <laughs> anyway so Activision was like the new Skylanders and it was like yeah um, got to play the new Guitar Hero and I was like yeah it's kind of fun um, uh, is it a different control just it's instead of like six buttons down the spine it's the top three buttons but split in two yeah, oh, yeah. so you've got the you got the top you got like the bottom and then the top above it so you can you can do like chords now apparently with two areas which is kind of funny. Um, then after that was Microsoft's, which is the final one I got to go to, and they had Forza 6. Um, they had, like, Night and Rain and no stuff. No Hollow Lens? No, no, man. They actually said we were thinking of bringing that, but we thought it would take away from the games. And I'm like, <sighs> you're kidding me. I'm like, piss off. They you... could have played Windows 10 Minecraft, race. <laughs> no way. I, I would have looked on, boom, and, like... Ooh, and zoom in there yeah, that would have been fun ooh, yeah. ooh. <laughs> except apparently the hololens is like this tiny field of vision for what it is you know how we watch uh, the video yeah. it's yeah. only like a very small amount of what that is that you actually see on the lens so hopefully they can expand it to being exactly what we thought it was but yeah anyway so forza 6 was forza game um not rain and stuff was just more enhancements and stuff to it then got to play rise of the tomb raider um, felt like Uncharted. Um, As Tomb Raider did. Yeah, wasn't really that excited about that. Um, I want to play it. I can't wait for that. Because that's going to eventually yeah. come out on PlayStation, isn't it? Next year. Yeah. Yeah. But I'll get it on Xbox this year, which you can come around and play it. Yeah. Oh, thanks, man. We can borrow an Xbox off True. Yeah. You're a good brother. I know. Yeah. That's right. I did lend my Xbox over here for like a month. I did nothing. You did not. You just forgot it here. <laughs> yeah, you but you yeah, played back. it. Um, uh, you're like, you're going to use that? I'm like, no, nah, it's been sitting there not plugged in for two weeks. You're like, just oh, like every other Xbox. Yeah. Um, and then that was basically the last game I played and then they showed me like videos of Halo and stuff. Halo looks like a pretty fun co-op game, but it's Halo, so yeah. we'll see how um, good it's going to be because I think I'll get into this one a bit more than any of the others. So. Yeah. But yeah, that is uh, my conference. That, that is like a conference. Fun couple it was of days. Super fun. Yeah. That was That's one, a that good was one work day. Perk. Yeah. You, I don't. I guess people could have assumed that, but you never really said that yeah, well, you were there for I work. Just went to a games conference. Yeah. 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 You know, it's for the podcast because we're like really cool and and they say they put it on just really, for lucas yeah just for lucas like, and they didn't invite the other two trusty co and that's why when you're like yeah you won and he's like yeah yeah because you're the only yeah. one there going, yeah. Yay! <laughs> um yeah well we could go to pax you know we should hmm. i do have it booked off for work Ooh. when is pax uh, the end of october or something shit okay no, i'm away okay. of course you're away well, doesn't mean i can't go yeah you can do what you want thanks man do anyway i will 
Jerk. All right, I think that's enough for the podcast. Is it really? Is yeah. It? Wow. yeah. I filled up yeah. the podcast. No, that was only, do. it's only about 40 minutes. What are you yeah, talking about? no, that's good. All we're going to hear about is Doug talking about my I want to know about what... No, you, there was another you, game Doug played. There was, you do more than enough to fill the podcast. <laughs> yeah. I can we'll give something for Doug to talk about next week, so it's kind of good. Nope. Huh? Uh, it's done. It's done. Did, done. Did you play anything? Did I play anything? Well, we don't care. A bit of The Witcher. Oh, yeah. A bit of Rocket League. Want a solo Rocket League match? I love Rocket League. Mm. Oh my god. Can we all play Rocket League? All right, let's all he play Rocket League. And then it's no, a three versus three. No, no because any time we leave here, you go, I want to go to bed and go to sleep. During the week, cock. This is during the week. It's a Monday. It's not no, tonight. No, it's during the week, cock. Is it? Oh, the week, cock. Yeah. The not so very, just when the, you have a week, cock. The not then you message me and say, <laughs> hey, Doug. Oh, hey, Reese, i got a week, cock. Let's right. play Rocket League. Because it's not really... Uh, you hitting on me, Doug, or not? The minute, so. You getting up, Doug? You going? All right. Yeah, I'm done. We are the Trusty Crowbar. I am Reese Whittingslow. I am Lucas Whittingslow. No, I'm Douglas. Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram. Everything. All the fun things. Just Google it. MySpace. Let's <laughs> see.